Um, this is a crazy video I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna just press record and take you on this journey. This is a risky move right now. Um, the problem I've been having with my Canon EOS M as, as much as I've been loving this camera, shooting with it, it's just an amazing little pocket cinema camera. Problem has been uh, one of the buttons stopped working and that is the, the little dial. I'm gonna show you on my overhead camera here with my iPhone. The top dial button, the press area is not functioning. So I can't press the top area. So that means we can't go up in our menus. I have to sc scroll down infinitely to go back up and uh, press the setting and that's just annoying. And also that means the ISO, the aperture, I can't change it in the camera. I'll have to go at least, luckily the button that does work, the press down button to open up my magic lantern menu is working. That's very fortunate, but as you can see, I can't go up. I can press hard and it just goes to the right or to the left. It doesn't go up. So if I wanna go up in a setting, I will have to scroll down all the way to the top and then access whatever setting I was going for. But anyway, that just shows you that this button is broken. So I went on eBay, got myself a cheapo control board. As you could see, this is the control board for the bar, the back panel, or the back plate of the camera. We're gonna be replacing this and I've never done this. <laughs> this is my first repair, major repair on a camera. My Sony A7S, um, actually my older Sony A77 I replaced. I have replaced the LCD screen before. It was broken when I bought a used second hand, very cheap. And I just fixed it myself, really cheap. So yeah, uh, this time it did break on me. So I wanna fix it myself. But there is a high possibility that I will break this camera and that's just a risk I'm willing to take. But I'm really hoping I don't break it because I do love this camera. So I'll do my best to try to take it apart and put it back together in one piece. So let's get started. Now for just security and just to be safe, I removed the battery and the SD card, but let's get started removing all the screws. Now all the screws we gotta remove are the top two screws on the um, shoe mount. We got two screws here. And then we have, I believe there are three screws on this side, two outside, one hiding in the door, flippy door right there. So here are three screws and then four screws at the bottom. And that should be it. Then the front panel should come loose and the back panel should just come off. Whew. So let's do that. And I have to be careful when I do remove it, this belt thing is gonna be tied to the camera circuit board. Oh, okay, that's not a good start. So let's just be careful. All right, let's get started. Let's start with the sides. All right, so these are the, all right, two screws there. Let's head over to this side. And last but not least, this one. They are not coming off. Okay. Now let's remove the top and bottom screws, the other screw, and now let's do the bottom screws. All right, all the screws are out. Um, here comes the big one, trying to make sure everything comes to loose. Now, I do have to remove the front lens so that we can loosen this top part right here. Okay, I forgot. We got one more screw and that's hiding down here. So we're gonna get a nice flat object to prop this open. Okay. 
There it is. Can you see it? There's the screw right in there. So we're going to get in here. Okay, now it's going to come loose. Okay, there we got it. Okay, you got the flaps out. One, two, three screws are revealed. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, we are free. Now, we have to be careful because right here, it should slide off from the shoe. Shoe mount, there it is. Oh, you gotta be careful with this. It slides off under the hot shoe plate. So we got the first plate off. We're gonna put our lens back to protect the sensor. There we go. And now we gotta be careful when removing the rear plate, there's gonna be the cord here connecting, you know, this cable here. We don't wanna tear it. Well, it's already broken anyway. But another thing to keep in mind is, let me show you up here. Right here, there's gonna be two little hooks that we gotta be careful when we remove right there there's two hooks so let's go ahead and do that now there we go so make sure that these are unhooked and you should be clear to go there it is now this is where we gotta be careful because right underneath I'm going to show you, voila, that's what we got to be careful with. Don't rip that up. All right, so the next thing you want to do is release this fastener here that is keeping the board in place. There you go. So you just move it up, pry it up. You could use your fingernails if they're long enough. And the fastener should release our board. So now we're done with the camera. We're gonna put it aside. And now we're gonna focus on, well, it's actually dirt coming out. Removing this plate. Now here is the fun part. All right, so there are screws, two screws that we gotta remove. One here, actually this one, we just removed it. So this one belong here, so that's gone. So let's take away, let's take out this screw. Screws are gone. All right, now that we just, after removing the two screws, we can just remove the plate, the control plate and the board. Here they are. And in order to remove this, we're gonna have to unhook these little plastic dimples that are sticking out. These are actually, um, pins that are connected with each button so that it locks them in place but these are not screws so we're gonna, we're gonna have to break these to be able to pop this out so the way you could do this just use the same screwdriver you had the really tiny one go to one of the dimples here and just act like you're gonna just screw it but you're gonna apply some pressure while you're spinning away while you're spinning, you apply pressure, and what you're gonna notice is, it's actually, see how it just popped out? The button does come loose, and the external part right there. It's like a little ring. Yeah, that's what's holding the button in place. So we're gonna have to do this to every single black dimple, and then we should be able to remove all our buttons and have access to the uh, control board that we are going to replace with. And of course, if some of these buttons are a little hard to remove, you can always use a flat screwdriver or tweezers or something just to kind of like pry it open, give it a little nudge 
make sure the pins just come out of the holes, the sockets that they're in. But you don't want to break them. You're going to need them. So be very gentle with this. Very gentle. Make sure that all the pins are connected. And this is the little dial. Now, the button that is broken right now is this dial right here this surface up here is not clicking anymore but i have no idea why i don't see any reason why this button should not be working but i can see it looks a little damaged i don't know if you can see this in camera this should does it show that it looks a little bit damaged right right there it looks damaged so all the buttons are show some wear on them but this one looks very different so that's why we're gonna end up replacing it with this and we just gotta make sure that it is the same board all the buttons are the same and there we go that's what we're gonna replace so Phew, let's remove the adhesive on this board and on this back part. So we're going to remove the adhesive tape, remove the whole board, and then we're going to tape that new board exactly where this one is on. So let's go ahead and do that now. Well, there's no way back now. I accidentally broke this cord. So now we have no option, no alternative except to have success removing and replacing this board so oh man it's starting to get hot so the trick here is just be patient which i was and if you try to pull it it's gonna snap that's what i try to do i was trying to pull it too much and it just snapped on me we need something really flat. So I'm going to try this cutter to try to get under its skin. And I'll try to get under it. There it is. It just came off. Okay. So we're done with the first part. Let's go ahead and remove the main part up here. And this is just really glued in there. All right. Wasn't so hard. It ended up in two pieces. So let's remove this. All right, so now that we have everything ready. You could see that the plate is a little bit sticky. It's a little bit adhesive. We are ready to put it in place. So we gotta be extremely careful. This is it. This is all we got. My last board, the original one just broke. So I'm gonna try to show you guys. Just make sure that everything, these little holes all line up. They have to line up perfectly. So let's just start from one corner, right? Let's line up one hole at a time. So you really got to be careful. Make sure all the holes are not completely covered. All the buttons underhooks are able to go in through each individual hole so we'll do that after we finish wrapping this cord around so let's bring this gently around and make sure again we're in the holes okay should be good so let's go ahead and start putting this thing back together starting with the record button
you could actually hear it right all right so this is a little nerve-wracking so i just sat down but anyway just the important thing is to make sure that all the pins are going through each hole you're gonna hear a nice clear snap in place so that's what you want to hear and i'm almost done now with the menu and the play button you're gonna see that these ones do have some hooks there that needs to hook to these little tabs that are sticking there so you want to make sure they hook to them to them right there and then make sure we go into the holes after we're all finished i'm gonna do a quick test I'm gonna man i'm gonna assemble semi assemble the camera back together just hook up the belt and make sure that the buttons do work so if they all work then i'm gonna apply some um glue on the back of each pin to make sure that they don't come out <laughs> There we go, it snapped in place. So I'm gonna put one screw, um, a screw right here. This tiny one. All right, hopefully it is in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside turn on the camera okay Let's power on and pray yes menu is working and left right scroll wheel is working okay the scroll wheel works um q set okay q set oh there you go okay something's wrong with the q set but i'm gonna have to fix that but everything works info info is working um live view to preview okay the info works holding down magic lantern works up down is fixed yes play button quick they're all working oh my goodness the shutter everything works and final button to test is the record and it is recording we did it we did it it's working info button it is officially working look at that i can't believe it just the q set button is a little funky this button so i'm gonna have to fix this one and that's it okay everything worked great yes that's how we do it so i'm gonna remove it fix the q set button and set everything back up glue it together and yeah, we'll see you when it's all finished. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I almost had a heart attack. Please, I hope the cable didn't break. Oh my goodness, let's put this back together quick.
Okay, and on the last panel, we've got to make sure that this hook stays in place when we screw it together. We want to make sure this hook is in place. All right. Now we can screw the last and final screw. We are done and we're ready to power up for the first time fully assemble. All right, let's get the battery in place. I really had a huge accident there for a second. Hopefully this buttons are still working. Let's power on. We got power. And uh, as you can see, info button live view is working. Uh, focus. Okay, there it is. And here is the, oh, it's working. Our F-stop, nice, up and down, left, right. Menu button is working, left, right. Scrolling is working. Nice, Q set is clickable now. We fix that button, up and down, they're all working. Everything is working. How about menu? Yep, menu is working. Play button. Play button is working. And the last but not least is the record button. Is the record working? Let's make sure we're in focus. And record. There it is. Whew. It's all working long press the trash can let's go and they're all working finally i can go up and down yes and let's go to my custom buttons oh yeah the toggle was off okay so turn that on aperture and iso info i like to do real time oh it's so nice that i don't have to go up from the top i could just go up and ah, go to a menu that is so nice ah yes is working yes i am so happy i can't believe it oh man the feeling of fixing something yourself is just amazing especially for so cheap so it was worth the risk wow i almost ruined a hundred dollar camera cinema camera but we did it it's fixed guys if this video was helpful to you guys smash that like button and just smash it because the whole project was a complete success and we can still record with our eos m so please just hit the like button share and uh, yeah happy shootings see you on the next one